What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So I've been using the Huawei P40 Pro as my main phone um, ever since it was released, so about two and a half months now. And the most common question that I get regarding this phone is how do you use it without Google and how do you install apps on it? And it is in fact super simple to install apps on this device. Keep in mind that the Huawei P40 Pro runs Android 10, so the latest operating system just like any other flagship out there. So in today's video I want to show you how to easily install all your favorite apps on the Huawei P40 Pro. And this is actually going to work on any Huawei device that's not using the Google Mobile uh, services. So the P40 Pro, the P40 Pro Plus, the Mate 30 Pro, etc. So the easiest way to move all your favorite apps, all your settings, all your pictures, messages, music, pretty much everything that you have on your old device is by using Phone Clone. Phone Clone is an app that comes pre-installed on the Huawei P40 Pro and you can install that on any other device. So any other older device you can install Phone Clone on it and then you can move everything from one phone to the other. After you install the Phone Clone app on your old phone, you select which one is the old phone, so the phone that will be sending all the information to the new one, and then you select on the other phone that um, it's the receiving device, so the new device would be the receiving device, then all you have to do is scan a QR code um, on the new device, and then you can select everything that you want to send from the old phone to the new phone. So as I said earlier, you can select music, you can select uh, settings, messages, pictures, videos, pretty much everything that you had on the old device can be sent onto the new device. So whenever you're moving apps in between devices, you're also going to send the data from the old device. So just to give you an example, let's say that you're moving uh, WhatsApp from the old phone to the new phone. Whenever you're doing that, you're not only sending the app itself, you're sending all its data. So you're going to get all your messages, all your pictures and videos onto the new device. So whenever you're going to open WhatsApp on the new phone, in this case, the P40 Pro, WhatsApp is going to look just like it looked on the old device. And this basically works for every other app that you're going to send from the old phone to the new phone. So extremely simple to do and also very fast. So yes, the Phone Clone app is one of my favorite ways of transferring information from the old phone to the new phone. But what happens if you don't have your old phone? How do you install apps then? Well, there are other ways available as well. So the next thing I want to show you is um, Huawei's App Gallery. The Huawei App Gallery is basically like the Google Play Store. Now keep in mind that the App Gallery doesn't have all the apps that we have in the Google Play Store. But I've been using this phone for two and a half months now and I have to say that they're adding apps every single day. So every day you open the app gallery there are other um, new apps um, being added. So let me give you an example. Let's say that um, you want to install Google Maps on your phone. Keep in mind that Google Maps still works on this phone. But Google Maps it's not available in the app gallery. But there are great alternatives in there. Like here we go Maps. So you can install that app and it's just as good as Google Maps. So there are a lot of alternatives to the popular apps that um, you're using before. For example, there are apps um, like TikTok available um, already, the Weather Network, there are a lot of games um, being added um, constantly like Asphalt 9, Game of Thrones, etc. So more and more apps are being added um, to the Huawei App Gallery every single day. And the one thing that I want you to search in the Huawei App Gallery is called um, Petal Search. This is probably the best thing that happened to the Huawei ecosystem. So what is Petal Search? Petal Search is basically a search engine for apps. So you open Petal Search, you search for the app that you want to install, and a lot of the apps that you're going to find are also verified apps, so safe apps to, to install on your device. So let's say that you want to install Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, for example. So you just open Petal Search, you search for that particular app and you install it. So that's simple. And there are a lot of apps available through Petal Search. So even though you may not find an app in the Huawei App Gallery, always open Petal Search and install apps that way. Another super cool thing about Petal Search is the fact that it allows you to update apps on your device, something that wasn't actually possible before Petal Search. I mean, it was possible if you would uh, install a different app store, but not with something from Huawei, directly from Huawei. 
So now you can do updates um, for the apps that you already have on your phone right through Petal Search. So another super um, useful feature because I know that a lot of people are complaining about that. How do I update apps? Well, it's super simple to update um, apps now. So Petal Search is something that you definitely need to install. Now, if you do buy a new P40 Pro, Petal Search will be installed right on your device. But if you have like an older um, Huawei device, you can always just look for it and install it from uh, the app gallery. And aside from phone clone, the app gallery and Petal Search, there are actually other ways of installing apps on the P40 Pro and any other Huawei device that doesn't use um, the Google mobile services. So yes, it is extremely simple to install apps um, on your new Huawei device. There are just so many ways of installing apps. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. If you do have any questions, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer um, any questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.